Hey everybody, Lisa Roberry here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a really great start to their weekend. I know I am. I'm finally starting to feel better from this whole broken rib situation. So I'm so incredibly thankful for that. And by the way, I wanted to thank you for the well wishes that I have been getting um, once you guys realized that I was sick and I had a broken rib. You guys were so sweet and I got some really sweet comments. Um, and some messages, so thank you so much. I really appreciate the well wishes. I'm just so happy to be feeling better. <laughs> the problem with that is that you, like I start to feel better, so then I start to do a little too much. Started to do a little too much today, so now I'm kind of a little sore. Uh, there's still no doing anything with my hair because it just, it hurts to like raise my arms too much, so I'm just not doing a whole lot with the mop right now, but it's okay with time. <laughs> so yesterday I uh, shared with you my Scentsy haul and then in turn I put my like weekly what I was warming, what I was burning, my weekly favorites type video is today. So here we are. I have quite a bit I want to share with you so I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to go ahead and start with the Bath and Body Works candles that I was loving this week. Um, I started out the week with Creamy Nutmeg. I picked up um, a few candles when they were having their $12.50 sale. Right now they are doing a $15.50 sale. So, and I know like the stores that are in my area still have these guys. Um, so if you're wanting to pick these up and not for full price, I mean full price is $22.50. Um, I think $15.50 is a little bit high, but I mean it's better than paying $22 bucks for a candle. So. It's definitely worth uh, picking up a couple of these if you if you haven't had a chance to try it yet. Uh, so this is the Creamy Nutmeg and I heard about this from my dear friend Melanie <laughs> over at Mr. Kong's mom's channel. I'm so happy she told me to try this. It's amazing. She had me pick up backup. She's like, just, just trust me. <laughs> just pick these up. You're not going to regret it. Uh, once they're gone, you're really going to regret not having picked up more. So, and she's right. I'm really happy I, I picked up a few. This is so good. It's so insanely sweet and rich and just decadent and perfect. I just, I love this. If you love, I mean, it, it really does smell like a really rich nutmeg scent. It smells like something I would want to curl up on the couch in a mug and just enjoy and make the world go away. <laughs> like, this is so good. Uh, Bath and Body Works describes this candle as grated nutmeg, cinnamon stick, sugared almonds, and creamy vanilla. And that's exactly what it smells like. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And this is one that you can totally burn all year round. You don't have to just warm or burn this during the winter months. Um, I, I'm gonna rock this all year, that's for sure. So creamy nutmeg, I started the week off with this, but because it is one that I can enjoy all year, I kind of stopped burning this and busted out my merry mistletoe. <laughs> so because this is one I wouldn't really burn all year round, it's really pretty um, like holiday specific as far as scent goes. So um, <clears throat> I busted this out. It's really, really pretty. I love this. Um, it's the perfect like Christmas tree type scent. Bath and Body Works describes this as frozen cranberries, sparkling pear, icy peppermint, and balsam branches. And that's exactly what it smells like. Um, I love that you get the tart scent from the cranberries, but you get the sweetness from the pear. And then obviously the more predominant scent is that like Christmas tree type scent. And it's so good. I really, really like this. Um, I actually paired this with, um, I will get into a little bit later, but I paired this with Scentsy scent, scent of the Season Blue Christmas. And these work really, really well together. I like this a lot. Um, my husband, on the other hand, he was like, this this is too much like tree scent for me. <laughs> like he walked in from work and he was like, oh, oh no. He started like turning off all of my warmers. He's like, this is, this is too much, I can't do this. I think it's really amazing, but if you prefer something that's a little less in your face, maybe just stick with this <laughs> or one or the other. But I guess together it's, it's a little strong, but I really like it together. <laughs> so I was, I was loving the Merry Mistletoe. This is, this is great. So as 
I told you I was also warming Blue Christmas. I went through an entire bar. I literally stuck this bad boy in all of my warmers. <laughs> the dogs, they're going bananas. Someone's right outside the front of the house, so my dogs don't play. <laughs> they're like, uh, you shouldn't be here. You need to leave. So I really hope that's not distracting. Sorry, guys. So I went through a whole bar of this. I really, really like it. I decided, you know, this pairs so well with Mary Mistletoe. I'm going to put it in all of my warmers. So I think that might have been why it may have been a little too much for my husband when he walked in. But oh man, this is good. This is the perfect just Christmas tree scent. Oh my gosh, I'm going to kill my dogs. <laughs> I'm going to read you the description from Scentsy. Description is orange peels, cloves, fir needles, and cinnamon. And that's, I mean, that's why you can tell it pairs so well with the Merry Mistletoe. You've got the same basic notes. So it's amazing. Moving on. I also, Sense of the Season, if you didn't see the video from uh, me talking about the Sense of the Season, I will link that down below for you to check out if you're interested. The Sense of the Season bundles and scents are all still available. So that is available to order. So I was also uh, warming the eggnog scent. This is one that I actually thought I was going to love and I kind of don't. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, this on cold sniff smells really good. It smells like creamy nutmeg and you smell the rum. It smells really good on cold sniff. <clears throat> Once I warmed this up, uh, I didn't really love it. Uh, it was really super sweet as soon as I as soon as it like warmed but then like halfway through the first day it kind of futzed out and I don't really smell it anymore. So um, this is kind of like a thumbs down for me. I kind of don't love this. So that was a bummer. Um, let me see what Sensei describes this as. I mean it smells just like just like eggnog, but um, yeah, so Sensi's description is nutmeg, rum, and cream, a holiday classic. And yeah, you it it smells great on cold sniff. It performs really crappy. <laughs> so at least the one I got, I don't know. I didn't love it. Let's see, what else? Okay, this is what else I wanted to share with you. So <clears throat> I have a sweet friend. <laughs> so I have met this sweet girl from YouTube and she reached out to me. We've been talking a little bit. Um, she was asking me about a discontinued warmer. Uh, I happened to have that discontinued warmer. So we were talking a little bit and I just, I really like her. She seems like a really, really sweet girl. Um, so I sent her the warmer just because it was like, I wasn't even, I wasn't even using it. It was sitting in my closet. Um, and she was insanely sweet and she actually sent me a warmer. So, uh, and it is a Scentsy warmer. This is the Alabaster warmer. This is actually one that I had my eye on when I had purchased the Lucent warmer that is in the background here. I was going between the Lucent warmer and the Alabaster and I just, there's no rhyme or reason why I ordered the Lucent warmer over this. It just, that I just did. So she actually sent this to me and that was so insanely sweet. So this is one of my favorites for the week. Anytime someone sees something or, you know, thinks about me and wants to send me something just to be nice. Like I'm one of these like mushy people. I just, I, I'm, I love the sentiment and it's just, this has a very sentimental meaning to me now. Um, <clears throat> So I love this warmer. I am looking for the perfect place to put it. Um, I've got a few things in mind, so I will be putting this up this week, but uh, this is really pretty. It's more of like a porous finish um, and it's really beautiful. So I can't wait to put this up and enjoy that. So um, lastly, not home fragrance related, <sighs> leggings. <laughs> I am in love with leggings and I picked up a few. If you are familiar with like LuLaRoe, um, <clears throat> this is the same type, it's not LuLaRoe, it's actually Agnes and Dora. Um, they are insanely soft and one of my friends is a consultant for them and she's got me totally hooked. So I picked up a few. This is like a, it looks like a knit snowflake. 
super cute. Oh my gosh. I am addicted to these leggings now. Um, I got some with feathers on them. I got some with some butterflies on them. Let me see if I can. These have butterflies on them, different colors of butterflies and then flowers. And then these are my favorite. The hummingbirds, how cute are these? I just love them. So these are definitely a favorite for me this week. So I love these. They're not super warm for the winter time, but they're super, super cozy and I love them. They're comfy. So <clears throat> anyways, that's pretty much my, uh, what I've been loving this week. So if you have any questions, definitely let me know. Um, thanks so much for my random videos this week. Next, I will be sharing with you the scent and warmer of the month for January. So stay tuned. It is definitely going to be worth watching. So once again, if you have any questions, let me know. I will leave my information down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a really great Saturday.